Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or website for another card video. Today I'm sharing several samples featuring this adorable fuzzy spider stamp set from Whimsy Stamps along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my website as well. Here's a quick look at the fuzzy spider stamp set. These cuties are perfect for all the too cute to spook cards you may need this Halloween season. And I'll be using the large medium spider both cobwebs along with the sentiments throughout the video. I placed a piece of 80 pound cardstock into my Misty and I'm going to stamp the medium sized spider in bright colors. I'm using a lime green, ultra pink, orange slush, grape juice, and Audrey blue. Once I have the spider stamped, I'm going to use my scanning cut to cut them out. And you could easily fussy cut these, but I'm horrible at fussy cutting, so I stick with the scanning cut. And here's the cuties all cut out and ready to go. Next, I'm going to use a wreath builder and stamp this corner cobweb. You don't need a wreath builder for this, but it just makes things a little bit easier. I've cut five pieces of 80 pound cardstock to four by four inch squares using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I stamped the cobweb several times just to ensure that I have a solid crisp image. And then I turn the cardstock two turns and stamp again. So we're going to repeat this process until we have all four corners stamped on all five pieces of cardstock. And then I'm going to die cut the centers out using round dies and we're ready to start assembling the cards. For the first two cards, I'm adding 3D mounting foam to the back of the panel we just stamped and die cut. Then using glow in the dark thread, we're going to create a web by adhering the thread to the foam. I found for me this is easiest if I cut the thread into individual pieces instead of going back and forth without cutting it. Once I have the thread placed, I pull the string tight and then adhere it to black cardstock. I trim the extra thread from around the edges. So I'm going to set these aside for now and start assembling the shaker cards. And I am using four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch card bases for all the cards in the video. So to start our shaker, start out by cutting a piece of acetate to three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths of an inch and adhere it to the back of one of the stamped panels using a heavy duty adhesive. Then adhere 3D mounting foam strips to the back side of the acetate to hold our sequins in. Add any sequins or seed beads you want on top of a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch card base. Remove the backing off of the 3D mounting foam and adhere the card panel over the sequins. And now we have our shaker ready. So to save some time, I stamped the happy Halloween sentiment and cobweb in the center of a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch card base. I'm adding 3D mounting foam to the back of two of the stamped and die cut card panels and adhering them to the card bases with the stamped sentiment and cobweb. I do believe that finishes up the card bases and now we're ready to add our spiders and sentiments to the cards. I'm adding googly eyes to the lime green spider using a liquid adhesive and then add an action wobble to the back of the spider to adhere him to the card base. I'm adding the Audrey blue spider to this card, but first I want to stamp the sentiment using VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then I'm adding the spider using 3D mounting foam. For three of the cards, I stamped the Sentiment Creepy Crawlies onto white cardstock in the colors Ultra Pink, Grape Juice, and Orange Slush. I trim the stamped sentiments down and snip one end with my pinking shears. I add 3D mounting foam and add the spider and sentiment to the card. For the card with the largest spider, I had an extra stamped frame, so I went ahead and die cut it out. And I blended the lime green ink to the card base, adhered the stamp and die cut panel using 3D mounting foam, stamped the spider using VersaFine Onyx Black ink and ran it through my scanning cut. I went ahead and stamped the sentiment directly to my card base and then added the spider using 3D mounting foam. He's very straightforward. So I'm going to finish the cards off with clear enamel dots and black enamel dots. 
And so here's all the cards we created using this one adorable fuzzy spider stamp set from Whimsy Stamps. I love this stamp set. So I do believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to head into your crafty space and create something amazing today. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. And if you could hit the like button, that would be great. Also, be sure to subscribe to my website where you can find videos and blog posts in one spot. And as always, please know I appreciate you taking the time to watch th this video. And until next time, keep crafting.